What's up guys? Welcome to another video and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at my Lego World War 2 British 2 pounder anti-tank gun. Oh that was a mouthful. Okay guys so um yeah I think the birds have finally left the garage. I think they have. I'm not sure though if you hear them sorry but yeah they, they should be leaving soon if they haven't already. So when you, you, you guys will be noticing here, well this is different, this is not too fun on a tank gun, this is how much pieces. Yes, that's because the video is also going to be a tutorial. If you guys read the, um, the, read the title, then yeah, it's going to be a description. Um, tutorial, so I'm going to do tutorial first, and then I'm going to build it, then I'm going to do history, and then I'm going to review the features. So yeah, if you guys want to build this gun, then um, I guess, you know, Pause the video now and just take a look at these pieces. Go get them from your collection. I think you guys just want to um, look at the finished vehicle, then you can skip forward in the video. But I'm just going to dive right in to building it. Okay, guys, so first you want to grab this. Black piece. Let's just show you the pieces that you need to use. Here you have this tile, this piece here, this piece, and then you look at the tile. And here like this. And put this on here. Then you're gonna to wanna to grab This base put it on like that. Then grab this time here, put it on, and grab this piece here. Like that. Then you can grab these two pieces, stick them together like so. You put onto them onto here. You put this assembly to the side. Next you guys are going to want to grab these three pieces. You're going to grab this 4x2 plate, this 2x1 plate and this 3x2 plate and put them together like that. Then you're going to want to grab this piece here Put it on like that. And you can grab these pieces. These two cheese readers here can just be a normal two by one, but um I didn't couldn't find any of those in my collection when I looked, so I just use two two one by ones. But you can also use a two by one because usually that is fit. And here like so. And now, you then want to grab these three pieces, this piece and these two, and put this piece on here, then put these two going this way. Now you can grab this tile and this bar, put them together, then put this on here, then put this assembly to the side. Then you're gonna wanna grab it's gonna take quite a lot of pieces for this part here. So you guys are gonna wanna grab this plate, stick this tile on here, then stick this tile here, and then this tile here, then put this plate here, and this plate here. And you can put this little one by one tile here. Then you can grab this plate here, put on here like so. Then you can grab these two dots, put them here. Then put this cone piece onto here. 
second. Whoops. Put this little. This is like a flex chewing piece. You can put mine here. You guys can just use like a black flex chewing piece if you want. Then so it should be like that. Now grab these two pieces here. Stick them on the back like so. Then grab these two tiles, put them here and here. And switch back to the back. Grab this clip, put it there. Then grab these two pieces together like this. Then put them on here. So it should look like that. Then you guys are going to want to, um, whoops, sorry, grab this piece here and this piece and set this piece on like that then grab this assembly here and put it onto that little clip there so it should look like that now you can want to build two wheels to grab Let's do this twice, you grab this piece, then you put the pin in here. And you grab this small wheel here, stick it on here. Then this bigger motorbike wheel, put it on here. Then let's do that exact same thing again. So, this. Whoops, so guys, dropped it. Then put this on here. Now stick your wheels on like so. There. And there. And now your gun is complete, guys. Right guys, so now we're in a history on this gun. Basically going into the war, it was you know British by then had tank guns, had two pound rounds that would fire. It was, you know, mobile, it was put on the back of trucks, it was used everywhere, you know. Right from pretty much the end of the war, from you know um from the original German Blitzkrieg battles to North Africa, to defending Malaysia and Singapore and the Pacific colonies, to liberating France. It was just everywhere. It had a, a two-man crew, gunner and loader. And yeah, it was like this gun wasn't that big. So like it was, a, it wasn't that effective for taking out, you know, bigger tanks. But like at the time when it was made, built, it was an effective in the tank gun, but then it was it ended up being um I have my mind blank on the word. You know, just not a good weapon to use anymore. So yeah. But so basically as for the Lego model here, the um features you can tow it. So like for example I'll just grab my universal carrier from my shelf. Let's stick it down here, so it can be, you know, towed. By the way, I've got a video on my Universal Carrier off my channel, guys. If you guys haven't already seen that video, please go check it out. So, um, yep. Yeah. So, look, the barrel and the shield can raise and lower. It has raise and lower of the shield. I've got a simulated ammo box here, a seat here which can fit a minifig on, so I'll grab my British minifigs here, and you know how you can sit in there, do that kind of stuff. The wheels roll, and here's a pretty cool, because of my last kind of feature here, this is pretty cool, what you can do is you can pull off the wheels, which is that simulation in combat, whoops, you pull off the wheels and sorry, the, the, um, 
the section is far off. It normally doesn't. It's normally pretty sturdy. But so it shoots it up like that. Take off the wheels. And then it can traverse um, 360 degrees pretty much. But that what that's like. You wouldn't be shooting backwards at your own troops. So I put the wheels back on. Here. And then, I mean, yeah, it's, you know, standard oh, minifig scale. Minifigs work well with it. You can play with it. You can set it up as in your markets. Yeah, but, yeah, it's a cool whip, cool little build. That's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, please hit that notification bell. Leave a like on the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So, um, yeah. Until next time, bye guys!